What and who is Rourke? We don't like to look at Rourke as if he's a real person or a fake person, really kind of just a fragment of our own personality. Rourke is this kind of ultimate um, individualist, I think, and stops at nothing to complete his goals and be himself and be this pioneering kind of spirit. I've always kind of thought of Rourke as almost like a content company that happens to make clothes. You know, it's, we're out there trying to tell stories and you know, the minute you can tie any kind of story into a product, you know, there's so much more opportunity to, to communicate. Because we're telling a story, the most authentic thing to do is really get over there and dive into the region. Every year, Rourke travels to two different destinations. One destination is a cold weather destination for the fall holiday season. And during the spring, summer, obviously, we go somewhere a little bit warmer. We try and design our expedition around what this Rorkian character might be doing right now or might have done in the past. And so where would someone who wants to kind of live on the edge of trouble discovering you know, the beauty of the world? We've been to Bali, Tokyo, Cuba, Iceland, West Africa, Nepal, and we just went to Hanoi, Vietnam. I always felt that Vietnam was an intriguing place, mostly because so much of our perception of Vietnam as an American was shaped by the war. So I think here we really had this desire to figure out what Vietnam really was about. And on that trek, it was really eye-opening just seeing the countryside, imagining what it was like when we were in that war era, and really kind of magnifying this whole war and peace thing that we wanted to do. We try to dig deeper in and really get with the region we're in and get with the locals and what's going on with that region as far as fabrics and colors and treatments and how they do everything like that. You know, it's a lot of hand done, hand woven, a lot of process gets put onto it. It's just jacquarded woven, shows some of that sensibility to uh, the craftsmanship that they would go through. About six months ago, we had the opportunity to start working with Jamie Thomas. I think Jamie really identified with a lot of the traveling that we were doing and he felt like it really fit into his career and his ambitions to travel and skateboard and kind of be an ambassador for skateboarding. So we brought him. He came with us to Hanoi and uh, if you know Jamie, you know that he's one of the most passionate people you'll ever meet. And uh, luckily for us, it uh, carried over into product design as well. Really special experience and we're stoked that uh, He's on board as a revivalist. I mean, at the end of the day, so much of the Rourke ethos is about like living and what we as individual kind of explorers want to do. So it's not based on any formula, especially like a corporate or a company formula. Um, so that's kind of the, the, the coolest part about it for me is that we're not kind of entrenched in, in trend forecasting and, and things like that, that a lot of companies are kind of I think tied to. When I look at what the brand's trying to accomplish, um, it really is trying to inspire people to travel further and go places they never thought they could go. And not just go to Hawaii on vacation, but try and find the most remote, inhospitable you know, location you can find to kind of uh, expand your, your mind and what you think is possible.